So you, why don't you take a oh, video of me? Okay, and asking, so, you, asking you the questions. Oh, it's on already. Is it on? It's yeah, already it's on. It's so, it's hey, so uh, I'm here at TED, first TED Fellows reception, meeting some amazing people that make me cry for just awesome causes worldwide and all that. So here we have where I'm going to actually interview somebody here. So tell me tell me who you are. We can't take pictures of just me. My name is Isra Shafi and I'm from Bahrain. Uh-huh. So now just tell me tell me about Crowd Voice. That's what you're doing. It was a pretty moving platform and we're going to try to integrate into the work of open source ecology. So crowdvoice.org is a user-powered um, service that tracks voices of protest from around the world by crowdsourcing information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the impact you Tell us a little more. I mean, the so the idea is that we want to amplify voices of protest, yeah. um, amplify voices of dissent, actually. And there's Anything so much like content. There's so much content out there that's becoming overwhelming. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who are talking about very important issues that are not being heard um, mm -hmm. because um, there's so much information out there that it's very difficult to find. I mean, people are not going to go and actively search for yeah. this topic. So the idea is to put them all in one platform, get people to visit these top topics, um, photos, videos, news reports, yeah. blog reports, put everything in one place um, and organize the existing yeah. data out there. Your video, your presentation was awesome as a TED Fellow talk. Are you going to be able to put that online? Or oh, yeah. Uh, I know I'm n not my actual vi um, talk, but I can definitely put the video. In fact, you should put the video under this uh, blog post, um, uh -huh. the YouTube video that I showed on there. Uh -huh. So they're not going to show you, they're going to no, just show, yeah. you, show your voice? Yeah, exactly. Because for my reasons of security? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Um, so I cannot be physically identifiable because I, I deal with a lot of um, issues that are um, very difficult yeah. to deal with in the Middle East, particularly because I'm based there and I travel extensively within the region to deal mm -hmm. with my stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's really difficult um, for me, um, for yeah. security reasons, to just be identifiable. Yeah, so we'll look forward to the video. Thanks a lot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Bit.